So there I was looking at all three video games that I wanted to play, knowing damn well that my broke ass couldn't afford them, despite all three of them being pre-owned games. I wanted to play these three games with every fiber of my being. Each had good reviews and notable people on gaming sites raving about these games. I hated that feeling of being left out on the conversation. I hated the feeling of not being able to experience what felt like must-play games. I knew something had to change. That was me back when I was in college. Safe to say I was broke. I was broker than broke. Most of you know how it is. You have enough money for rent, the semester, and some low to mid quality food. And I really mean low to mid quality food. Due to being short on funds, I always felt like I was massively behind on playing the latest games. So I decided to change all that. If there was one thing I knew how to do, it was hustle and research ways to make my life easier. So that's exactly what I did. I researched ways to find games cheaper. As a result, I was able to play games when they were released or a few months later for a price that I could afford. Fast forward, I'm no longer a broke college student, but I'm still using these methods today to save money and have premier gaming experiences for cheap and affordable prices. In this episode, I'm going to share my secrets on how I managed to save hundreds of dollars and play hundreds of games for low prices. And I'm going to show you all this right after the intro. What's up and welcome to the Single Player Experience. This is the Pro Nerd Report podcast that helps single player gamers manage their video game backlog. I'm Sebastian Malden and my main quest is to help you manage your ever growing video game backlog by letting you know which single player games are worth your time and money so that you can have the best single player experience. That's what I usually do for the normal show, but today is not the normal show. For today's episode, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you where and how I find good deals on video games and video game accessories. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. DJ, cut the beat. Today's topic stem from questions that I've received through the contact page on thepronerdreport.com, where you can write in with your questions and comments just like Midnight Black did. Midnight Black asked, and I quote, where do I find cheaper games and how do you buy games if you're on a budget? Shout out to Midnight Black for writing in that question. I think that's a very good question. So I wanted to share the strategies that I used and hook you and Midnight Black up. So before we begin, I want to say that these sites are not paying me a damn thing. They ain't even giving your brother a two piece in a biscuit. So I'm doing this because I genuinely love you, the audience. So with all that said, let's begin. The first method that I'm going to recommend is SlickDeals.net. I know some of you might be asking, what is SlickDeals? SlickDeals.net is a free user-driven deal sharing site where people around the world share deals that they've found. SlickDeals is a legitimate site and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. So let's dive into how you can find deals on this site. On SlickDeals, they have a tab at the top for video games. Here you will see deals that other gamers posted about. You can find deals on consoles that are on sale, deals from stores like Best Buy and GameStop, and other product deals like controllers and accessories. I use Slick Deals and every once in a while I found a fantastic deal. A lot of times they display deals on games and gear on Walmart that I scoop up as well. SlickDeals.net also has deals on everything I can think of. Everything under the sun. I kid you not. If you can think of it, they pretty much have deals posted about it. It's not just video games. The site is so good that I definitely check it out at least once a day. Another good source that I use is Amazon. I know that isn't going to come to a surprise to most people considering that Amazon has seemingly taken over the world like Pinky and the Brain, but... All that said, Amazon often has fantastic deals on video games and video game accessories. I advise you to check out the Amazon warehouse section on the website. There you usually find lots of deals on video game items and they're usually backed by Amazon's return policy, which is A1. If you're looking for a site that's really going to give you a lot of bang for your buck and get to you pretty fast, I cannot recommend Amazon enough. Here's another site that I recommend, or in this case, a person. It's Wario64. Who is Wario64, you might ask? Well, this man, no, this legend, started his Twitter account in 2009, and has since then become renowned for providing really dope video game related deals. He legit posts video game deals and news every single minute of the day, so I'd highly recommend checking him out on Twitter. I kid you not, he even lets people know when PS5 and graphics cards come back into stock online. 
I gotta give a major shout out to Wario64. He's the real one, the GOAT. So, my last recommendation is primarily just a source for games. It's Gamefly. So, what is Gamefly? Gamefly is an online video game rental subscription service that specializes in providing games for Switch, PS4 and PS5, and the Xbox Series X. Gamefly offers a video game rental service, and I hear that's really cool and really dope, but I haven't tried out that aspect yet, so I'm not recommending that portion. Instead, I want to recommend Gamefly's used game store. Let me tell you how to get to this deal site. Go to Gamefly.com, then hit Used Games on the Sales tab. There you will see Gamefly has used Switch games, PS4 and PS5 games, and Xbox Series X and the Xbox One games. Real talk, a lot of times new games will be discounted a few months after release on Gamefly. Gamefly only sells physical copies of video games, by the way, so if you're a digital collector, this ain't the site for you. I also want to advise that you keep an eye out for the deals that are going on on the gaming store sites like the PSN store, the Xbox store, the Nintendo eStore, and the Steam store. Many times throughout the year, all these sites will run sales that you can easily scoop up some really good deals on. The best sales of the year, in my opinion, are the spring sale, the winter sale, and the Black Friday sales. Wario64 is fantastic about updating people about sales just like these, so I'd highly recommend you follow him on Twitter. So, these are the major methods that I use to find video game deals. Hopefully this will help you save lots of money while getting all these games that you want to play. So, there you have it. I hope that this information proved helpful and I hope that this helps you take advantage of all the video game deals that are out there. I want to remind you that if you want me or my community of gamers to give you feedback on your backlog list, then join us on the Pro Nerd Report Discord server. Once you're in, feel free to share the backlog list that you have or talk about good single player experiences that you've had lately. The link to join the free Pro Nerd Report Discord server is in the show notes. Once you're in the Discord server, I can provide you with a backlog list, which is a spreadsheet that will allow you to maximize and efficiently manage your backlog list. I hope to see you there. So that's it for today's show. I want to thank you so much for listening and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.